What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and in today's 2D tower defense tutorial we are going to be adding in a new turret, the slow-mo turret. However, to get the slow-mo turret we, we're going to need to obviously do some new things. We're going to have to create a whole new turret. Now, the slow-mo turret we are going to, let's just zoom into let's say the path down here, there we go. And we're just going to create a new sprite, an empty, or not an empty object, sorry I needed a sprite. So right click 2D object sprites and we're going to select let's say a, a triangle. This is what the tower is going to be. We're going to make this slightly smaller 0.8 will do. Then once we've created our tower we could just change this to an icy blue something like this maybe a bit more bluer. There we go. So like this like an icy blue which we're going to have. Now we're going to rename this to our, our slow-mo turret or tower. And then we're going to add in a new tower or new we could add in turret to this if we wanted to but this isn't going to work how we want it because the issue is this shoots bullets and we don't need this to shoot bullets we just need it so every so often it freezes the enemies within the range right so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the turret script and we are going to create a tower we're going to create a turret slow-mo script now we could create what would be the best performance for this is to create a base tower um which has all the um range and everything built in but we haven't got that set up right now so we are going to just stick with creating a separate script now we've got this open what we want to do is i'm just going to copy a few things from our um turret script just to bring it over here now we'll we're going to have in here a enemy mask. We're also going to have in a targeting range but and also a BPS. But we're going to name it something else because it's not bullets per second. It's actually something else. It's more of, um, uh, let's call it attack speed. Um, or how about APS, attacks per second. Now from our turret we actually kind of want to take pretty much a lot of this update method and just paste it in here. Now we add, we're we going to take out our rotate towards target because this one is going to be a static one that just shoots out an ice beam upwards. Also we don't need a target because this will just be shooting every so often within a range. So we also could just remove this and be left with just this. Now I don't know why I grabbed everything when I could just grab this. Um, I'm just I was just being weird. Let's just get private flow and we're gonna say time until fire um, And then we want to change this to a or APS then instead of shoot we are going to say freeze in range Or just freeze Freeze enemies. It took me a while to decide on what I wanted to name that variable. We're then going to create a private void called freeze enemies. Now inside here, obviously, this is going to happen once our enemies, uh, after a certain amount of time, we're probably actually going to set this to 2F or 1.5F. So this will attack every 1.5 seconds. It might even want to be a bit slower. Let's say two or three seconds and you can upgrade this later on. Now in our freeze enemy script, we're actually going to need a reference to our enemies. But before we get a reference to our enemies, I actually want to go into the enemy script once these scripts compile in the enemy movement script. And I want to create a public, um, a public function to help change the flow speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we'll create a public void called update speed and we're going to pass in a new float called new speed. We then want to create a um, private field at the top here, a private float called base speed which in our start method, we're going to set base speed equal to our move speed. That's just so we know what the original speed was so we can change it back. So now what we want to say is move speed is equal to new speed. Then we want a public void reset. Oh, public void reset speed, which will set the move speed equal to the base 
speed again. So these are two functions we're going to need from our enemy to actually change it inside of our slow-mo turret. Now in here, we want to do enough of cast all like we do in our turret um, to actually find all the elements. So we're just going to steal this. I'm going to come in here, steal this, sell it equal to that. And this all should actually just work as it is. Then what we want to just say, if hit dot length is greater than zero, then we just want to say four int i is equal to zero i is less than hit dot length i plus plus now we're just going to go through all our enemies we can actually now get a new raycast hit 2d um hit which will be equal to hit i then we can get a reference to our enemy uh well just basically to the enemy game object or sorry the enemy movement script which we'll just call em for enemy movement and set equal to hit dot transform dot get component and we are going to get the enemy movement script now we have the enemy movement. we want to say up update speed and we are going to make it to 0.5 so it's really slow so every enemy will be slowed all the way down to 0.5 speed we might even want to make this even slower something like 0.25 speed but we'll do it to 0.5 but now we want to reset this and to reset this we're going to want to call a coroutine so we're going to create a um private ie numerator we called reset enemy speed and this, we're actually going to pass in the enemy movement EM. Now, what we want to do is we want to say yield return new wait for seconds. And we want to return a certain amount of seconds. Now, we're going to set this up here as serialize field private float freeze time. And we're going to set this to 2F. No. 1f but we're also going to up this because now you think about it, they're going to be freeze for one second and this guy's going to be attacking every two seconds meaning they won't be able to escape before he attacks again so we're going to make this about four seconds giving them enough time to escape the enemy range so now in here we're going to say the freeze time and we're going to say em dot reset speed now inside of our freeze enemy scripts for everyone we hit we want to start a coroutine where we pass through our reset enemy speed and the EM. Now, if we go back to our game, on our slow-mo tile, we want to set the enemy mask to enemy, um, freeze time to one, and the APS to four, because we had to change that in the thing. And we also want to make the targeting range a little smaller. But you can see, we can't see the actual um, area now. So on draw gizmos, we just want to re-add this in. We also need to import um, a using tag of using editor to get those in. So go back to our script and we should, or back to Unity, and hopefully we should see the target range. And there you go. Now let's make something quite small, maybe free, 2.5. So it's a little smaller, so it hasn't got much rain. Actually, let's just go for two. I think that's good enough. Because if this is, uh, for example, zero two, you can see it's still getting quite a good area. Now what we want to do is take this slow-mo tower and drag it into our prefabs where we will go to our shop and get our test turret. And let's rename this to slow-mo turret. Again, we can zoom out for this so we can actually see it here. Oh, I accidentally duplicated the slow-mo turret because we no longer need a test turret. That was just, again, for testing. And we can call this slow-mo turret can then make sure this is set to one and then in our build manager we can rename this to slow-mo turret we'll sell it equal to 200 coins and we'll drag in our new slow-mo tower so now we should be able to start placing slow-mo towers let's just delete this slow-mo tower close off all of this and let's just see if this works so let's just hit play now let's select a basic turret because we need to make some coins. We probably should have sped this up. Um, but then once we start destroying enemies, we should hopefully get enough for our uh, one more. Now we can get our slow-mo turret and place it in here. Now you can see the enemies are being slowed. However, they seem to be being slowed all the time, which is actually an issue. So as soon as they get in range, they are slowed down. We are probably 
Let's debug dot log in here and say freeze to see how often this is being called. Let's go back to our game, stop it playing and replay again. So as you can see, this is being called constantly, which isn't how it should work. There's obviously a bug in the code. So I have just realized the issue. We set an attacks per second and we're setting it to four. That means it's going to be called four times per second, which is going to keep freezing the enemy, which is actually our issue. We actually need to set this to something like 0 0.25, which will be for every four seconds. I pull it in the wrong way because I'm used to doing, I was using the freeze time in seconds and this is actually how many times we want it to shoot per second so hopefully this time we should only see freeze occurring once now i'm going to put in a basic turret and i've upped the amount we start with just for testing so once we get enough we should be able to see the freeze actually working there we go so we should only see see there you go freeze happen then but it doesn't happen again for another four seconds there you go so it throws that one the second will manage to get through until it's froze again so you can see here it only freezes now every four seconds which is exactly what we want so let's just go and remove this debug log and that is how you add a new turret to your 2d turret or 2d tower defense game i hope you've enjoyed this if you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel smash that subscribe button and also leave a comment if you have any questions or you just want to comment on the series it, i appreciate all comments and i do take all your feedback to you know sometimes unless it's complete idiocy i mean i, I mean i respect all you guys opinions anyway um don't forget to join discord surfer it's a great community with great game devs and other programmers like yourselves so don't forget to join in if you have any questions or you want to just get involved feel free uh link will be down below for all of this and i will see you in the next one peace out